So hi guys, it's me, Jennifer. So I know it's been a while since I posted a video on this channel because I started up the other channel and I've been posting videos on that channel. And because I've been trying to think of what to post on this channel. Um, I do, you know, I have some incomplete things, but I, I'm stuck, so I haven't done it. So, I guess I'll sh want to share with you, and we'll have to make some more another day. But I've been, what was I watching? I was watching craft, crafting Vicky. Anyway, she likes to make different things from her scraps. So she was making these cards, these postcards. I don't have postcards, but I thought, well, I have index cards. So I went to look for my index cards and they were like too small. Or I had the real big one. I was like, that's too big. And so I was flipping through trying to find well, what else can I use because I decided I wanted to make some things like she was doing. And I found these old Project Life cards. Um, I have I have a whole bunch of them and they're just sitting there. Nothing's happening with them. <laughs> um, so I just grabbed a stack of them. And you've seen this if you've seen, I think... Maybe. I don't know if I show these or not. If you've seen my uh, craft room tour. So these are four by six. And they're I'm not using them. I probably never will. But I thought there's a chance to use them. They're the right size I wanted. So I took one of these. Actually, I took eight of them. And then from uh, Somerset Studio Magazine. They always have these background pages that other artists had completed and they're ready for you to do something with. So I tear them out and then that's like, well, now I have a bunch of these things and what do I do with these? So I decided I'll take this and one of those background page uh, things and I'll, let's see. Did I glue them together? No, I glued. <laughs> I, I needed to make it thicker. So I glued one of these to the back of some chipboard, some thinner, medium weight maybe, chipboard, and then glued um, the background paper on the other side of the chipboard. And uh, then I just, uh, you know, cut it around. They, it's already rounded, so I just rounded everything out with a rounder. And I had painted the back just a flat black or, yeah, the, uh, the paint here that I use, the Americana acrylic paint. And I just painted that black, and I did that to each one of them. I had like eight. And, uh... I thought, okay, well, I'll do something with this. So this is what I have left to do. Well, I have a, like five left to do. And so what I needed was like an image. A couple of these already had images on it, but I needed an image. I needed some a sentiment or words of some sort. And... Um, some text from a book or something. So I had this Japanese history book that I started out with. And uh, most of the pictures I didn't want to cut up. And most of them actually, there's very few uh, colored pictures. Most of them are in black and white. Um, I've, I've torn out some. And I'll show you in just a minute. Um, like here's an image I, I tore out. And it's, uh, I'm not sure how old it is. I've got it right here though. So look at this nice picture. Um, I had somebody that I know that lives in Japan. She, well, she's Japanese. I sent her pictures of this book 
to ask, well, what is it? And she told me it was like a history book of Japan. Um, and so it starts out, and there, you can tell there's like stories in there. Um, and different, I don't know if they're all stories, but at least in the beginning, you can tell there's some story being told and because you can follow along with the pictures. <laughs> um, and then it ends after World War II, I believe. And there's some pictures, but see, they're black and white pictures. And then there's, uh, yes, yeah, so I don't know exactly when it ends. The book was printed in 1973. Index of as you know, if, if I'm doing it right. They read from this way, because that's what it, it feels like. I don't know, this, this is a weird thing. It's like an alien thing. So they read, um, perfect for a left-hander. <laughs> that's all I can say. Um, so anyway, I tore out some pictures, and I, of course I like the Japanese writing. And I, I didn't, it was like really hard to tear it apart, but I tore pieces apart, and most of the stuff I tore out was from this, story of these um, two sisters look like um, I don't know why they were separated from their parents for some reason I'm not sure but anyway so I found some images I found some text needed some words so I have some words over here that I've gathered and I know my, 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 this is how I work. I am messy when I create. <laughs> Got some words here. Um, and some, this other book, Tim Holtz. And, uh, there's some more images and stuff here. Some more. So I just cut the paper to size. Okay. Um, and so I started out with eight. Now my first one, I got some. And they're, they're, these aren't completely done yet. This is my first one. So I cut the image. I think this might be the mother. I don't know. I think this might be the mother. And some text that goes with the story. And I don't know what it is. And then I just put um, a Tim Holtz saying, start doing things you love. And then I uh, have a gold leaf pen. And I did the edge. Now what I forgot to do was ink up the picture and the text. But, oh well. So the next, so I got that one done. And there, well, we still have one more step. And so the next one, um, I have a Tim Holtz butterfly. Some more text. And I did ink it with, a, what do I have here? Walnut stain. And then a same. Or Tim Holtz, everything has beauty. And I just kind of tore, just tore around the pictures and the text. Except for the ones that, you know, this is Tim Holtz. Again, with the ink, uh, gold. And again, this is black. So I'll, I'll put my um, name and the date on the back of that with um, uh, like a, a white gel pen or something like that so the next one is this one here did the same thing it says i just want to make nice things and so this is one i d did last night this one had the image there's actually another person laying on her shoulder but i covered it up there's a person here there's some japanese text here it's a butterfly and a bird now I just need to find something to do there. And so we'll take a look at that. So the next, the, the next phase after we do this, um, I'm gonna varnish it. Yeah. Take this stuff out of that way. Back up. Uh, 
so this is the varnish I'm using. Should keep that out. So I need to find something. And after, you know, I think about this stuff while I'm at work and I was thinking I should have used like black soot on this piece because there's a lot of uh, gray. But so I was thinking, okay, I'll do that because I forgot that I had already glued it down. And I, I'm using dif different glue. There's a stick glue. I'm also using this tape, two-sided tape. I mean, it doesn't matter. Whatever, because I'm going to varnish it so it doesn't, it'll, and it will stick good then. But when I got home and looked, it's like, I'll use the walnut stain. So, anyway, let's go figure out. Um, yeah, she does. To me, she looks really gloomy. So, here, here's one. <laughs> that I think will fit. It says, look on the bright side. And I think I'll do the same as I did on the others for this one. Just use the paint. I'll just do the edges. Should be quiet. Actually, as soon as I wanted to start filming, because uh, my husband came home because he was gone. He had an errand he had to do. And I thought, okay, well, I'll do that. But, of course, um, it took time to me to get things set up. I had to get the camera set up. And then I want to do one together with you. So I was looking for everything and wanted to do that and get it done. And Sue, I'm gonna put some on this side and look on the bright side. <laughs> this is paint, so I shouldn't even be touching it, but oh well. And I'll put the paint. So this will need to dry before I can do the next step. But I thought we'll do one together. And then maybe someday um, we'll start from the beginning. Because actually that's what my plan was, is to start from the beginning. Just show you my process, the whole process I was doing. Um, but I was having problems and I actually, I'm, I still am. Because remember, I got this new computer. Because I couldn't like screen from my phone onto my computer on the older one. So I got this newer one and I can. But it's giving me problems because I don't know what to do. It's like it's I pull up, pull it up, I'm doing what it's saying, and then my phone. Is asking um, for a password. I don't have my phone set up for a password, so I get can't get past the point because it's like okay, I can see my what's on my phone on the computer, but only that one screen because the password thing pops up, and that's as far as I can go. So that that was driving me bonkers. So we'll put this aside and we'll let it dry. Um, so for the last two days, actually, and then like my other computer had the, a different app and it's on this computer too, because it's something you plug in and there's supposed to be an app on the phone or something. There's something, yeah, cause this, I, because you can't see behind me. But my monitors has is showing it and it's telling me to swipe down on my com on my phone. But whatever I'm supposed to be looking for, it says MS Display Adapter. It's from Microsoft. It's not on the phone, and I don't know why. Because <laughs> I thought it was just a black and white little icon, and I'm not seeing it. So that's irritating me. So anyway. 
on to the next step. So anyway, I'm just, I can't, I got my phone facing forward, even though the camera is better the other direction. So I'm just going to do it this way. And I'm hoping I can get it done right too. So here's the next one I'm going to work on. Now it's got hearts, but then it has writing. The writing's upside down. So if you turn it around where you can see the writing, and th then the hearts are upside down. So that's what the artist had done. So it looks like it's written in English. Yeah. And I'm not sure who's writing it is. Um, anyway, so anyway, we have this. And so I have some of my old books to tear them out. So I found this uh, little sketch. And I tore out the sketch and it's like a really old book. And it's like, ugh. It's, it's kind of hard. It's an art book. And so it's kind of hard. Um, so I thought, well, I could do that. Put that there. And then I was like, well, I need something to say. Well, the artist had a ton of different sketches and he wrote some things. Anyway, it took the, what he said, some notes on a national pastime. Now the, it was like a collage of different things. Like this guy is drinking wine. There was another guy at a bar with some ladies. And anyway, there's two or three or four different pictures and they each had a different thing. So, um, it was showing his pastime stuff or so anyway, I have that. Then I just couldn't, I could, I, I just couldn't leave it just like that. So I, I wrote, I wrote the the artist name down, and his name is Ronald Cyr, Cyril. So I'm gonna use that too. <laughs> and I thought, well, okay, I need some more different colors. So I went through my scrap papers, and I have. Like there's a, a collage of different things, but I thought, you know what? I don't, I don't care. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this out and just put it behind it a little bit, tear it out, just to add a little bit more pop. But I'm also gonna. We need to. Edge it. I don't recall. So I think I'm gonna go grab the black soot uh, out anyway. I have hickory smoke, black soot. Now, do I have a thing on the back of it? No, of course not. So I don't know if I miss. Let me take a look at my little bin of things. I don't think I have one for. And I should because I, I know I've used it. But all I see are new ones or a few other colors. I love this thing. Yep. And they have the smaller ones, you know, one for one finger. These are awesome too. Hmm. It sounds like there's somebody here. It could be my husband. Maybe he took off somewhere. I still got to figure out how to feed him. What am I going to feed him? So, let me take that out. Or my son. We'll see if anybody knocks. I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to take a black set. Yummy. Yeah. All right. Let's get this nice and sooty. It's so quiet. And door shut. Looks like it might rain tonight. Oh, look at my. I better grab some before I start touching everything. And then for that, I gotta go over here. And get it white. And grab them too. And this is the thing. 
but when I was painting, I haven't cleaned this up yet. And that's like two days ago. But so anyway, I did get rid of that roll top desk I used to have. Um, I actually gave it away to a ministry because they were having an annual garage sale, yard sale thing downtown. So I thought I'll donate it to them. And they did make quite a bit of money. I'm not sure the exact total. But they did pretty good on their little sale. So now I'm going to look out for another desk. I am not an Ikea kind of person, even though those rooms are really pretty with all the Ikea furniture. I'm just, you know, you watch so many and then they all look the same. <laughs> but, so I am looking for another, either a table or a desk. But so far the ones I'm finding as far as desk are too narrow. I need something at least as wide as this. And I keep finding like 28 inches or something. It's just like, it's too, too narrow. Did I not? I did. Okay, put that aside. Put this over here. Get it out of my way. And then I think I just should do the bigger one first. Hmm. Yeah, let me see the scissors. I know it's a mess, guys. Um, so anyway, that's what I need to find. And I, I'm just going to cut this out. I will tear it a little bit closer. Okay, so now I need to find something there. And this one I'll probably leave straight. And then I need something here. Let's see. Something over here. Let's go over here. There's some gold color there. Let's see, let's do this. I like to get as much of the green, but I didn't. Okay. Right, I think I'll just. Keep looking to see if I'm in frame because I you know you're guys thinking, why don't you use your cutter or a ruler to get it straight? I know you would want to do that, but I'm not. Okay, let's see. It's close. Okay, let me get this light glued on and then I'll help. Hmm, let's see. What is this? Yeah. No, on this piece, then. Oh, geez. Right. 
right. Now I'll take my scissors and move a little closer. So I'll link Crafting Vicky's channel. I went was going on a binge. Because I haven't watched her in a while because I've been. And that's the thing with. Well, at least with me, I go in phases of what I want to watch. There's coloring, crafting, games. So I was watching a lot of vanished games, our videos. I guess I'll just take it like this. Let me, let me glue it down. Let's glue it down. And I'm not like trying to get it all glued. Look, I got some paint on there. Nice. Really gonna get this cleaned, huh? Hmm. Oh well. That. There. Oops. I need to use a little more. Like so. Alright. Tear it a little bit. A little closer. Much. edit that out. <laughs> okay, let's see. Got some lux tape. <sighs> so tomorrow I have to work up front. And the superintendent's area. He won't be there. But his assistant has taken Friday and Monday off. And two other assistants who usually take turns covering. They are both on annual leave, too. They'll be back on Monday. But she needs someone for Friday. So that leaves me. Luckily, hardly anybody, you know, <laughs> as far as management, will be there. So it should be pretty quiet if you know, the residents quiet. <laughs> Which should be should be decent since nothing's it's not too hot. You know, different things aren't in play that might cause them to get a little bit upset. As far as I know. Okay, let's see. Tear some of this. And tear it around. This one's going to be a little bit different than the other ones. I don't, my tearing, I don't want to get 
too close. I want a little edge around. So I'll need to put soot around this too, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Get rid of this cut edge. Why not too close? Let's go over here. You see? Not really. Oh. Oh, chubby hands are in the way. Yeah. I should have had the camera above me, but I always have, I've been having problems. It's just not recording the same way. It used to be so easy. Now i got to flip it all the time, and then it's not showing the full screen, and it's just driving me bonkers. So that's why I'm doing this on the side. It's not the best, I know. I'm just tearing. Today's Thursday. Ugh, that's why. All right. So I got that done. All right. Now I need to arrange it. On here. Oh, I need the text too, huh? Where's this? Well, hmm. hmm. What else can I add? I think I can need a tag or something. I don't have a little tag. I can make one, but I do have that. Where do I see that at? It's in the other room. Uh, because a lot of my stuff is like kind of all over again. That stuff that was on that desk in the desk and a lot of it's in the living room and the tag I was looking for is in the living room. It's just a little tiny one. But I can cut. So I'll do that. I'm going to go get that little tag. It's just like an inch or so. I'll have to ink it up because it's white. All right, I'll be back. I'll just have to cut section one. Okay, so I didn't want to spend too much time looking for it. I didn't find what I was looking for, but I did find this. So, but this is the wrong color. So I guess I'll have to ink it. See if I can change the color a little bit. Hmm, what can I use? I wonder how much. So that's light blue, but I don't know. I'm thinking I don't know what what it will look like so I don't know if it grunge is okay if it looks grungy that's fine I don't have one ink so I'm thinking I'm gonna We'll see what happens. I don't know what the blue will do. I think I already have this color. Yeah, I probably do. Didn't even look. I didn't look, so I'm using scattered straw. Hmm, I wonder what it will look like. My fingers are dirty again. Ugh. That stuff is really dirty. Well, plus I pulled off the black thing. Right. Hmm. Cut me out. That's also going to make it kind of a green, which is fine. That's Um, 
we're probably out of frame, but I'm going to get out of this black <laughs> paint I have on here. Okay. All right. So that, that to me is okay. Put the black on. Black on. That, that. There's a lid. Okay. Where's the black set? Where's the lid? Oh, that's the lid to that. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's pull this out. There's probably enough ink on here already. I mean, because it's one of my fingers, so there probably is enough ink. <laughs> and. Grungy, grungy, grungy. I like it. Okay. Let's put this away. Put this on. Yep. That there. And we'll put these away. Clean up a little bit of my mess as I go along, right? Okay. That away. So let's put away. I'll clean off my fingers again. Let's see, do I need the scissors? Just gonna put the thing on it, but I don't know where it's at right now. All right, so let's see, where do we want to? Back on video? Mm hmm. Whatever, let's get this done. Okay, so let's uh, get some tape on here. So what else has been going on? I don't know. It's like been hard because I've been playing my games. I'm in game mode. So I haven't been in any kind of artsy mode or homesteading thing. There's nothing special there. Oh, I do have some bad news though. Um, oh, wow, would you look at that? Interesting. Um, we had freezers in the free in the garage for our meat. And we had a freezer, I think I already told you about the one freezer. We had a freezer that had pork. And we had one that had beef. And another one that had chicken. meat that we raised and had butchered or butchered ourselves processed and stuff plus vegetables fruits and vegetables and that Costco haul we still had a ton of food from that haul that I recorded <laughs> no was it from that haul I think so I think it was anyway mm -hmm. as I said was right lost all three freezers. I might have already told you about the pork one because that happened actually a month earlier. But my husband just noticed about a week and a week, a half ago or so that the other two, somehow the circuit box tripped and we had lights but that circuit that those freezers were connected to had flipped and we didn't notice it until it started snowing my husband started snowing and I hadn't been in there because we have two freezers in here I mean you know two refrigerators 
like a backup refrigerator and then you know each of them have have the little smaller freezer so i had food in those that you know i was pulling from <laughs> so yeah so that's that so that looks good like that i like that we'll do that do 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 where's the stick so <laughs> We're going to be butchered. We have two pigs that will be butchered. One at the end of August and one probably a month from then, sometime in September, I guess, because it's smaller. Like so. We did it anyway. So, oh, I forgot to. Uh, dang it. I did it again. So irritating. I don't know how to fix it. Dang it. Well, I'll try and figure that out. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. So I've got like three more to do. I see it's not really, it doesn't really pop, but okay, I did. I'm not thinking. I want the black sit around the edges of this one. Um, where is it? <laughs> Gotta look for it again. Should be, should be, <laughs> should be right here. Did I put it away? Yes. Where's that one? That's blue. Where's this one? Pink. Where'd you go? Wait, are you? No. Wow. I just put it in here. There it is. Oh, look at all that ink in there. Ugh. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. And then of course I'll have to let it dry before I can do it again. Or do the next step. Alright guys, so that's that I'll show you what we did. So we did this one together. And I finished this one. With those three to do. What do I do with them? Right here. Very. And we've done these three. And these, I wonder, should I go ahead and varnish one? I need to find a place to put it. I can do it there. I can only do one side though. Where's my pins? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh, it dropped. I dropped something. My headset or something either. All right, let's see which pen. Hmm. The Posca pen should work. Let's use that. So maybe we'll go ahead and varnish. I don't know. Maybe we'll varnish this one. So I finished this. Mm -hmm. And I had to lay them flat. I got a book. Oh my gosh. 
and uh, laid it flat. The date is, I did this yesterday, 8, 7, okay, do you have to move it? Yep, where are you? There you are. Okay, you go there. So let's get these out of the way so I don't get varnish all over it. And this over. This is covered in glue, so this is awesome. So let's get that with that dry a little bit. All right, the varnish we have here, and I do have a brush. This is the one I use for glues and stuff. Okay. Let's shake this up a little bit. Hmm. What do I have in this cup? Oh, that was that. What can I use? Use use one of these bowls that I got at at Walmart. The like bowls I use to just throw stuff in. Clean it up a little bit because it's kind of kind of grungy. There's dust and paint in there. Interesting. I don't know why there's paint in that. Okay, I'm going to squirt a little bit of this. I don't need a whole lot. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. All right. Let's do this. And I don't want to be... I want a good coat on there, so actually, I probably need to get more. I'll probably do, maybe I'll do two coats. Now, this ink is water soluble, so that might smear. So I'll probably let this dry and then do the back and let that dry. And then I'll probably come back and do a second coat. All right. Cool. So I'll get this cleaned up, get this video up. So, I'm just trying to think of other stuff to get on this channel. I'm still not in the mood to color. I've watched, been watching some people color on their channels. Um, and had a binge of crafting, Crafty Vicky? I'll put the link down. Um, just watching different, just different stuff and a lot of video games and I don't feel like playing the video games tonight either so I won't record for that either. All right guys um, hopefully I'll be back soon. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.